Okay guys, so now we're gonna be uh, roasting these guys. Um, when you buy beets from the grocery store, you're gonna find uh, some of these stems are uh, way too long. So you wanna cut it probably have an inch left off the beet. So if you cut too deep, what's gonna end up happening is when you're roasting them, it's gonna bleed yeah. out and you're gonna have beet juice all over your tray. So here we have a uh, baking sheet lined with foil. Just make sure you have it wrapped very well because it, it, it tends to, sometimes it tends to bleed anyway. Mm -hmm. It's just the nature of the beast. So um, I did mine like, like this, I have two foils running over one another. And then we're gonna cover that. Yes. So, These are washed. No, I left them dirty for extra earthy flavor. <laughs> I will definitely wear gloves once it's cooked okay. and we're peeling them. Yeah. Um, that's, right now I'm fine, but... I just sounded like a... <laughs> I'm like, wearing gloves. It's just like, I have white nail polish. <laughs> yeah, we can't ruin that nail polish, right, MJ? Yes. Never, never. No, I feel about my nails. Yeah. Don't cut these guys off. Don't try, don't. I know you guys want to like, I want to do it too sometimes. I feel the need to cut them off, but don't. Just leave them. They'll cut them off after it's cooked. Again, okay. just to prevent the bleeding. So we have our washed, and they are a root vegetable, so naturally they're very uh, soily. So when you wash them, just wash them well. So we're gonna cover these guys and put them in the oven. Uh, like 425 for about 45 minutes to an hour and they should be ready to go that's it that's it that is all okay okay guys here are the beads i took them out i uh, covered them with foil like so i uh, covered them more tightly but they kind of got loose as i was taking them out so very carefully take them out Ooh. yeah that smells it does smell like dough. Yeah, right? What? So the way to test them is you put them, put a, run a fork through it, and it's gonna have very little resistance as you're going through, and that means they are done. So what we're gonna do is take these guys and peel them off. They could take the um, outer layer out as they are not edible, and we're gonna chop them up into uh, small pieces for our beet salad. Hold the beets, the beets are out of the oven. <laughs> 50 cent, where are you? Drop a beet. So we're gonna um, cut those guys off and um, cut this guy off at the end. So we're gonna peel these guys, but we're not. We're gonna try not to use a knife, just so it looks pretty like this one, where it looks nice and glossy. Um, if you just give these the skin a little push it builds it's supposed to peel right off but sometimes they won't peel off I've had beets where they won't peel off and um, in that case what I do is I use a paring knife and just peel them back as I would I don't know skin of an apple so same thing with this guy cutting both ends off and then I'm um, gonna push the skin little oh, I use my nail there so that should just come right off and then what we're gonna do is cut them in half quarter them and then slice those guys for our salad Looks good. yeah